don't become the failure. Um, this is something that's often put about with people, you know, where people will say, you'll never achieve this, you're, um, you're an idiot, you're stupid, or um, accuse you of being a thief, or you know, where some of it is directly related to someone disliking you, or you're not promoted because of whatever reason that, you know, they're all pushing for failure. Now, you hear people from a bad background, they'll say, well, his father's a thief, so he's a thief, blah, 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 because the expectation is failure. All of this is failure. Now, there's two ways to look at this. Um, some of the people that help me with this, because I'm not a, a Star Trek fan, uh, not in a negative way, I just haven't seen Star Trek for at least 20 years. <laughs> um, but there was a Japanese American guy on there, um, the guy that's dealt with the gay rights thing about getting married and whatever that was, but we're connected on Facebook somehow. <laughs> But um, he was on about the internment camps where in World War Two because he um, looked Japanese because his parents were from Japan. Um, he was treated as a Japanese prisoner of war, basically. Um, yet inside, he was a hundred percent American. You know, did he take that as a negative thing that the world hated him? The answer is no. He took it as the whole point is it's a challenge to show that you're better than that. And this is the whole thing. When somebody doesn't give me a promotion because they decide, oh, well, my best buddy's going to get the job anyway. Or, uh, oh, well, we don't think you're qualified enough. Uh, and then years later, they're still in that same job and I'm five job jobs above them. I didn't take the bitterness pill. What I took is the fact is, okay, you've given me a challenge, so what is it you don't like? Okay, I know you're going to give the job to your friend anyway, but what are you saying? Not enough qualifications. Okay, I'll go and get a qualification. Not enough experience. Okay, I'll get more experience. I'll get more knowledge. I'll get better educated than you are. Um, in the recent scenario, the the fact is I'm better trained, better educated than a lot of the people I associate with. It's not a, what do you call it, a contest of me trying to outdo them. What the contest is, is to actually turn around and say, okay, well you want to push me down, I will lift myself up. So if you're in a situation, it doesn't matter what it is, it doesn't matter if it's a case of, um, somebody says your marriage will be a failure because your father was no good as a husband so you shouldn't be a good husband or um, your parent you know your parents were drunk so you should be a drunk or you, you know all this negative stuff it doesn't matter what it is you take it as an opportunity to show that you're better than that it's not a competition to say, look, I proved you wrong. The point is, you rise above it. You turn around and become a better person. They later on, if they have any integrity and actually um, respect, should actually come and say, I was so wrong so many years ago. Most people won't do that, but this is why it's not a competition, because a lot of time you don't get that gratitude not verbally anyway but they will actually uh, take it on the chin and say they did well or unless they're really bitter about something <laughs> but the whole point here is be the better person if you're given excuses about um, not getting something be it like I said a job promotion or whatever and they go oh yeah we you this other guy is better qualified and they go okay well what have they got I haven't got ask that question because that throws it out sometimes because sometimes it is complete um, I don't even know what to swap the word out 
<laughs> with the swear word, but um, not true. Let's just say. But they'll still have to go away and think about it, and they'll come back and say, oh yeah, um, he's got this diploma you haven't got. And you go, okay, no problem. Go and get a diploma, then next time you've got that opportunity, you've already got that diploma. But more importantly, next time you've got that diploma and think, I'm still not going to get it, I've got a better idea. I'm going to go two ranks above, because I'm not after that promotion, I'm after my boss's job. Um, but like I said, it's not a competition, it's about personal development, it's about turning around and saying, okay, fair enough, I'll go above this, I'll, I'll, I'll move to the next level, I'll play at a higher game level than your expectations, because they've already expected you to fail, so the, the fact is, you've got nothing to lose, they've, they've set the game so low, um, that you can't lose your worst scenario is to become what they expect you to do your best scenario is buying the company and you becoming their boss <laughs> the whole point there is it works for everything it works from careers it works from peers friends whatever you know because you don't have some friends that well I don't actually on my my friends are all very good to be honest because they're similar to me you know mentally they're similar so we don't actually have any negativity about each other if anything we lift each other up um, I'm, I don't run my friends down um, we, even, we don't even compete against each other that's, uh, that's an odd thing I suppose <laughs> we have no competition because we're so unique to each other um, that there's no real crossover except uh, interpretation and politics which sort of moves us away from all the the headaches that people get in the world but the reason I put this together was I was looking at something earlier today and like I said about that Japanese internment camp issue the guy could have just been like okay I'm that bad so you know you're assuming I'm the worst but instead he just took it on the chin and says well no I'm an American blah 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 and he wanted to show that he was better than their expectations and I find myself that a lot of time people expect you to fail they want you to fail they love you to fail because for you to fail um, it reinforces the fact that they haven't progressed and they're grateful that you failed because they never made the mistake of trying so this is why actually taking everything on the chin and actually just getting on and doing with it doing it is important because you're actually raising the bar you're not asking them to say well done you're not asking them to say well I didn't like that or whatever all you're just saying is okay you set the level of this I'm taking it to this because the one person I will invest in me is me and that's that's one thing I recommend in life the other side is never push people down um, even if they deserve it um, you'll be a happier person for it because myself I'm not bitter about anything I've had some real issues with work that I've just left but I don't look at it as my loss it's it's more a case of my knowledge has walked out the door um, something they won't regain uh, because well I, I'm I can't really talk about it but the fact is they're a decade behind where I am today um, so from my point of view on that the reality is who who actually loses out? Well, the answer is the company does. I can't lose out. When I leave a business and so I get seven job offers in the same day, and I just had a major contract drop in my lap, it's not because um, I'm bitter at the old company and arguing with them or whatever. I just turn around and say, "Look, I'm leaving. Had enough of it. It's not what I was offered, etc., and agreed to." That's it. I just kill it at that. 
they may want to chase me because that's the way companies the corporate world's quite dirty um, from what I see um, but I don't let it affect me you know my life is my wife my kids etc I couldn't care less about anything else and that's that's the whole point I can't be bought because everything comes back to personal development personal development doesn't involve money it's about integrity morals and being able to be at home at night being able to have a family life being able to be the person you want to be money doesn't even come into it so this is why some companies struggle to understand this but be the better person develop yourself make yourself the person you want to be um, today you're the person you are but tomorrow you can be the person you want to be